Oaks. This is Sheila. If we want to go to the Avenue of Tall Trees, you go that way. I did that the last time I came and it's not looking too bad. Today I'm going to make myself do the top bit. I'll tell you why, because it'd be more difficult in the winter. It might not be. On good days, it'd be great. Look at this lovely sky though. Isn't it beautiful? So we're going to do probably the steepest climb of the day. There will be no climbs after this. It's all downhill after we do this climb. Which is not vertical, but it's... Um, it is steep. I've got no idea if the cows are about. No sign of them so far. Look at that geology, everyone. Isn't it great? Just going to undo the coat. I've got a feeling if I'm going up, I go up this... I start now, I think. Or is it further up? Let's just have a look around the next bush. I'm only just starting to get thirsty actually. I'll just see what this is the better path this side. I mean I can't really never remember. But it's uh probably easier to keep my coat on than try and carry it. As you can see there's a few people about. I don't know, let me have a look. I'm going up there. It's quite steady and steep. I'm not going to video. I might video a bit more. I'll get up to that ledge first because I want to take photos anyway. I'll have rests. I am due for water. But uh, look at the sky. It's magnificent, isn't it? This is where a wide angled lens would be great. Over and out then, I'm going to take a photo and I'll be back on. Right folks, well, I've climbed up a very steep... I've been climbing all morning since I got off the bus actually. From right down there. This was a, a steep incline. Over there there's a big tree, a bunch of trees, and a, cow, a field full of cows. Sometimes they leave those cows out even in the winter. But where I want to explore another time is the field next to it. There is a pathway going through and there is another way across to Pretty from there following that track and I think I'd done it once in re coming this way but I want to go that way. There is a stile, there's a stile there to go through those cows or you can go to the next stile which has got more labels on it I noticed and go across that way and that's where I want to go. Um, there is a circular walk. There is a circular walk you can do where you come up in those woods there. So you can go up round. There's like a valley. But once again, it's worth waiting for the winter because there are going to be cows out. So what I'm saying one day, rather than thinking I've got to come all the way and then walk to Cheddar, I want to come over, explore this area properly that I can get the bus back from Win from um, Draycott. I don't have to think, oh, now you've got to walk, you know, you don't have to. It would depend on time and how you felt. Now, see those buildings there? That's a little airport. It's, for gl it's a gliding flying school. Um, I don't know if it would be too windy today, but they've got all hangers over here, Pods, I call them, where they keep the, the gliders. Um, I've got a feeling the wings fold up and they fit inside these pods. <sighs> so now we've timed it right for coming here. This is a good time to come here. Glastonbury Tour right over there in the distance. Won't come out very well. It never does when it's uh, the sun's above it. There's Glastonbury, keeping watch, the watchtower, that's what that is. It's 
so we've got word has got up here. There are sort of um, nine kilns around here. This was a mining area, and as I've said on previous videos, you can find it all online, all the history of this place. Right, further over, I can see either white, they're either sheep or white cattle. Let me have a look. I've never really noticed a total white herd of cattle before, but uh, that's probably sheep. Yeah. Sheep are in the airfield. There's some of the, there's some of the pods around that area. There's also um, a water pan, which is a rain pan. There's a bloke there, he's getting over the stile and he's going in, he's going in with that herd. I'm not saying that they're dangerous. And they've, they've run off, look. He has looked, I think he spotted the bull. There's the bull. He's going to keep to the wall, I think. He's seen the bull. Where's the bull gone? That bull is watching him. See that bull? He was going to go straight across the track there. Then he spotted the bull. Where's he gone? They could, they could crush him. Because the thing is, they come up behind you. If that bull moves, that all the cows are looking at the bull to see what the bull's going to do. Oh, he's not taking any of this. He's not interested. Oh, he's pretending anyway. He's eating grass. The bloke. Oh, now he's having an encounter there. That black one doesn't like the look of him. He's going to, I think he's going to climb the wall. Yeah, there he goes. Look. This is a good sample of the cows. If you feel threatened by the cows. Yeah, he's, he's come out of the field. He decided not to go across that track. This is what I'm saying. There's a really, really big herd there. And right where he came through is the bull. There's the bull. The bull stopped and stared at him. And there's a black cow there. Didn't like the look of him. So he's now having to go. What do you do? He'll walk up through there. And he got to walk all the way along. There'd be a gate right up there. He's got a long way to walk. But to be quite honest, he's done the right thing. It's not what he wanted to do. But I'm just showing you what happens. He got over the stile, wanted to walk across the track like we normally do. Big ball. Lots of cows. That black cow there wasn't going to let him pass. So he's now having to go all the way along, all the way along, all the way along, all the way along to the cops. And he might be able to sneak out the gate there and get over the other stile where there could be more cows. That was interesting to, to see that actually. Because I'm in the field after that one is where I got chased and I had to get over a wall very quickly. <sighs> yeah, over the past that copse, you go through one field that's normally cowless, then you go over another stile into another field. That is where I was chased. So that young man probably had a narrow escape really, to tell the truth. Over and out. Right, here we are. This is the hole in the hill. Place with sort of shelter. The water tends to run down there and it stinks. I think people use it as a toilet. 
but say it was really heavy and it managed to provide you with some shelter the rain was really heavy it didn't all go in there um, it, it would be handy to know that was there I've just had an interest did a little video I don't know if it would turn out of a bloke going into a field of cows with a big bull a massive herd I don't know if it will come out but when the bloke changed direction and, and had to climb a wall I thought yeah you got to be careful and he was a bloke he saw the bull and he changed his mind as soon as he saw the bull he scaled the wall now, he looked quite a tall bloke um, I don't think it had barbed wire on it Managed. But if he'd gone to the stile further down, he would have gone onto the track over there and he wouldn't have had to have even gone in that field. But like I said, there are cows all the way along those six fields. It's a lovely walk actually. I've never really been able to do it in the summer because of the cows. I've had to, I usually end up on the. They're pretty little lanes, they're roads, but they're lanes. They're not that busy. And I've normally ended up on the lanes. I mean, I haven't done pretty since I had Alberta. It's quite a while now since I've done pretty. Um, so, yeah, he was lucky he was able to get over the wall. He changed his mind very fast. He didn't even go back to the stile. He just thought he could get round the edge, I think, and then black and white cow stopped him. Right then, here we are folks, up on the top, these probably all ancient burrows, burial mounds and also stuff to do with the mining. This is probably all to do with the mining here. Um, I've got to find out all those little brown birds that would move very fast, that seem to keep low to the ground. I can't remember if they're linnets or, I can't remember what they're called now. Anyway, look at this. There they go. These little birds there are flying about. They look a bit bigger than a sparrow. But they're not sparrows. Could be ground something or others. these different other reference points that I talk about, I can see Draycott's lights. I can, I can actually see Draycott's lights. When I'm on Crook's Peak and I look over here, I've taken pictures from over there to over here. In fact, there, see that there, what I'm zoomed into, that's St Andrew's Church that I visit. When I come off the hills, I go down into Compton Bishop, have a picnic in that, in the grounds there, and I climb up the back there to the peak. Yeah, I'm not going to, I'll take a picture. I'm going to turn off now and take a picture of that. Over and out.